go live. Uh, it says I'm live now, so I assume I am live now. Lovely. Is it going to pop up on here so that I can have my second chat monitor? Because I'm going to be mostly looking at this screen. Oh, yes. There it is. Beautiful. All right. So, uh, let me just double check. I'm just going to, does it, did it reset? Because I feel like I zoom this webcam in every time, and then every time I look back at it, it's zoomed back out. Yep. I don't know why you do that. I would like if you stayed. I guess every time this camera turns back off, it, it resets the zoom level. That's that's slightly annoying. I would prefer if it didn't do that. OBS make it not do that. All right. Oh. Okay. So you'll notice since the last stream, a lot has happened to my house, and uh, you will soon see a lot has happened to my island as well. Um. So first things you may note are that uh, this is starting to look like the room I am streaming from. You know, I have I have a desk in the corner of the room. This is roughly where the TV would be. I mean, this would be like too wide and this would be a corner desk, but like, it's not too far off. You can see like the, the corner of uh, the wardrobe that is a dresser. I think technically it would be more over, but that's because there's a... There's this big hole here that is where the door is there rather than like here. But I don't know, I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out. Uh, you'll see I have, uh, you know, created actual shirts with my logo on it. I got the pro designer, so I have many custom designs. Uh, a lot of them are fake mon themed, but like. Got the classic DB logo. We got the more recent one uh, that's now been phased out in favor of the new one. So that's, that's pretty neat. I also, if you were here for the uh, like spriting streams from last summer, where I did stuff for my game that was used in my senior thesis, Emotion Commotion, which I swear I will be doing a thing on soon. Um, <laughs> I just have not had a chance to actually show it off in the ways that I've wanted to. But I will have that opportunity very soon here. Uh, but here we are. So this is the two of the playable characters. We've got Rizio on the front, Tristidia on the back, happiness and sadness. Uh, and this like weird wibbly pattern on the arms and on the uh, like body where it connects that I just thought looked cool. Um, but, as I said, there's a lot of fake mon designs in here, if you've ever seen any of my fake mon spreading streams. Uh, I will show off all of those in a second here. Uh, I'm gonna have to pass through my much less developed area. Uh, this is my main room. I have a desk. I have a stereo system with no music. So don't mind my stereo system, and I have a T-Rex skull. Don't mind that. But this is this is the room. This is the special room to me. This room here is my fake mon clothing collection. <laughs> so I have the main protagonists in the corners. I have Tetrarch or Mythical that's number zero. I have Sinot, the final stage of Heartgrass Starter. Uh, Mars Ignite here, which is the second stage of the fire starter. This here's this hat is Wormire. It's the first stage of the water starter. Uh, here we have Citronoxious, which its number is the hardest to see. Uh, they all have their dex numbers on them somewhere. I put Citronoxuses at the top just because I didn't want it to look exactly like Charter Sharks um, and exactly like uh, Pixins, pretty much. So I, I put it towards the top, above its eyes. Uh, but from this side, you can also kind of see them. So, you know, angry poison grass type lemon, 
Charter Shark here is a water dark type. Um, I don't know. He kind of he's kind of shark like, kind of kind of dark type, and that that's that's him. So I'm gonna change my shirt back to the this one. Which speaking of which, real quick, let me let me let me show for a second. Um, let me add an image. Do I rando? This image's name is rando. Um. Yeah, here it is. So, this shirt exists in real life now. If you go to my Teespring, there's a link in the description uh, down below. But yeah, so this shirt, it's available in multiple colors. One of them is the one I'm wearing, and it's the one I'm going to get sometime uh, whenever I get around to getting one. But yeah, this shirt is available now. Um, I try to keep my shirts relatively uh, inexpensive. I take everything that Teespring offers me and I reduce it greatly because I like my like my, my merch and like my outfits that I'm selling I want to have be kind of affordable especially if it's just my logo slapped on a thing that's not there's not a ton of effort if the more effort it is the more expensive it gets but you can get this as a t-shirt or as a hoodie um yeah I'm pretty like I, I love this logo it was a fun time to design and I think it turned out pretty good so if you want to support me and wear that, I mean, you, I mean it's kind of above me right now, but if you want to wear that, uh, <laughs> you know, just go ahead, check it out. I think it's about $15 US and a similar amount and about 15 euros as well in Europe. I don't know why they keep them the same initially, but I assume... I mean, I, I think I'm, I assume some of it has to do with taxes in Europe or something, but yeah, they, they just default them to being equal, so I just keep them equal because I don't, I don't know exchange rates. Yeah. But anyways, if you want to, if you want to check out this shirt, it exists, it's available, I'm not going to make it go bye-bye. So cool. That I've, now that I've showed for myself, uh, we can take a look more at these designs. So this dress here is for the Pokemon Mitsuko. It's a normal steel type. Uh, it's a waifu robot, kind of visually inspired by like uh, J-pop idols and stuff like that. So kind of very colorful, but also you know metallic and robotic design. Uh, the shiny is actually themed around Hatsune Miku. Don't worry about it. It it's actually not supposed to. Uh, have any connection to that other than the memeiness of uh, this being Mike's signature line. So, yeah, uh, and Hetsune Maiku. Ha ha ha. But uh, this one here is Necromander. It is a ghost poison type. Uh, it's a little baby salamander that uh, died brutally. It has its. It's missing its legs. It's. Uh, it's missing all four of its legs past certain points uh, and the tip of its tail as well as its eyes and it turns negative emotions into goop and that goop's very poisonous and that's what comes out of the eyes and the stumps so now you get to be that uh, this one's actually a hoodie which is why the eyes are in like the back it's supposed to be because like you can't wear the hood up but the idea is that if you could wear the hood up the eyes would be on the sides um I don't know how well I achieved that because I can't I wish they could have the option to put the hood up or put the hood down and it would count as headwear if you had it up um, and then it would just like switch so that you could see that way and then when you were like designing it you would design it so that you could make the hood because I would love to see how this would look if you were wearing it but the idea is eyes here the jawline is like the lower part of the hood so when it comes up and then everything else is just normal uh, here we have Chalkmite, basically a Rock-type Magikarp, uh, except it has worse stats than Magikarp, and it has actual moves. Uh, In-game, debatably alive. Uh, it, it learns things like Rollout, uh, but usually that's that means that a trainer has set it down and gone, oof, and just rolled it. Um, but yeah, so that's Chalkmite. Here is the first one I actually did. This one 
like legitimately I did I did first. It's actually the in-game sprite of this fake one as well. This is a uh, pull triple. Um this one is like a hallucinogenic tadpole. Uh that's a ghost psychic type. And it likes rainbows, so I kind of went for like this rainbow aura thing going on around them. Uh, and then, because there was a lot of empty space just on the chest, I was like, ooh, I'm going to slap the face there. And then, because of how the rainbows looked, it almost looked like a cobra. Like, that's kind of like this, where it has like that little, like, I don't know, the top of, the, it looks like it has eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, here, we actually have a sort of channel mascot in Meetaball. That's right, he's here. He was the second one I made. Uh, I might wear that hat, I might not. We'll see. Uh, here we have Shisterer. Actually, I guess I should talk more about Meetaball. So, for those who don't know, Meetaball was a recolor that was done when I was doing the back sprites for this Pokemon here, which is, uh, or rather this fake one here, which is, uh, Stolwork. It's a bug ground type. I think it's bug ground, not ground bug. Um, but it's, uh, Dung Beetle. And the first stage is just a grub. The second stage is a typical bug-type cocoon Pokemon. And then this one is he's inside a ball of dung. Uh, and then Meetaball was that colored red with the face colored like cheese and the other bits colored like kind of like fatty, sinewy stuff. So this is just a store cat, but meaty. <laughs> which actually is going to be in the game. Um, here we have Shisterer, which is a rock ghost type. Or actually, I think it's a ghost rock type. Yeah. Uh, or is it? No, it is rock ghost. It, it's not like it really matters that much. But anyways, Shisterer is a bunch of schist that has been possessed by like a poltergeist kind of thing. Um, the blue is the main body of that poltergeist, which I call an ectoskeleton, just because it's like, haha, it's like spoopy, but it's a skeleton. Uh, and then a purple aura kind of just radiates from that. Um, and then the actual face is there. Oh, yeah. Um, and then we got Pixin here, which I think this is probably the worst one of the collection, just because Pixin's very pointy. This is not very pointy. I tried. Uh, it, it, it didn't work. But uh, it's still here. I, it, it, it was mistaken by Mike as... Citronoxious, which is what inspired me to do Citronoxious, because it is literally the perfect fake one we have for these hats. So here it is, the perfect fake one we have for these hats, as one of these hats. Where is Pixin? Not, not as good. Uh, but yeah, so that's all of the outfits here. Um, the only issue, I think... I have with any of the outfits that's like major is because they have the mirroring on the like knit caps a lot of like I, I would love to be able to put just like something that looks like the back of their head on the cap or something like that um, and in the case of the female trainer's hat not have the thing that's on the front of her hat only also on the back but it's fine it's fine it's fine. So anyways, uh, now that I've sat here and rambled on about my amazing collection of hats and shirts and dresses and robes, we can actually leave that and do things. So this is my house. Um, I've got, you know, a bunch of bushes that I got from the uh, Earth Day event from Leaf. Um, I made this little, you know, like, walkway pattern. Uh, and I put that in front of everyone's houses. Just because I think it, it, it looks nice. Um, we now have Nook's Cranny. It's up there. Um, you'll notice there's a lot more trees. Also, I'm, I'm now picking up the clovers. I, I think that they're cute, but I also don't want it to be more tedious when I'm trying to get, like, a higher rating in the future. 
Um, Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to show off is just my museum because I actually have that now and there's different uh, like ways the museums can be structured so it might look different than yours if you're also playing the game so I'm just gonna show that off just gonna collect seashells on my way I just got my pocket expanded a lot I also just got this, so I set that as my pattern for now as my flag, just because, if you look, almost all of my custom designs are in my pro design, so, um, like, the ones that I have that aren't, like, these three, and these two, and the eyebrows I made for myself, so, yeah. How's it going, Axel? He wishes it was a gym. It sounds like Axel. Um, yeah, you can see. I've just been putting those in front of houses. I have some bamboo now. I have a lot of different types of fruit on my island now. The only one I'm missing is peaches. Um, but that's fine. I kind of want to move this tree. It's just kind of like in the way of the museum. It's kind of dumb. But let's, let's go into the museum now. Let, let's take a look inside. Because I have filled this with a lot of things. It's not anywhere near done. Like if I show off my, my critters, these are all the bugs I have. Every single one of the ones I have here is in here. And these are all the fish I have. So I'm still missing a lot, but... I've gone through and put a lot in, and I have a lot of fossils as well, um, but there's like, I like that they have so many like, one item fossils where it's like, just one like, older animal that was smaller, um, so those actually are going to make it a lot more difficult for me to collect them all, and I have one painting, but I think I'm going to start with my least favorite, because it's the bugs, uh, it's, I don't know, bug catching never appealed to me as much in this as catching fish. It was because fish had a mystery, whereas bugs, you saw it and knew, ah, it's this bug. But also bugs tended to be worth less, so and let's take a look here. So I like that they have this, where it's like there's some fish in with the bugs. I think that's a really cute idea. It's nice. I love it. Um, yeah, so this is the main bug area. We've got a koi. I don't know if we have any more koi. There's just no. There's there's a couple. Um, but yeah, we got koi, we got bugs, got a praying mantis that always goes ah. I don't know what goes on this tree. I assume like stag beetles will, but in this time or at this time I don't have any. There's an endless moth, bongy boy. Stingy boy. I don't know where the actual, like, honeybee went. Oh, there he is. Um, yeah, just lots, lots of bugs. I don't know. I also felt like the bug area was the most static and kind of boring just because. I don't know. There's not much bugs do. They're bugs. They sit around or they go places. But like fish, they constantly do stuff. So let's, let's see, we got we got hermit crab and wharf roach. Honestly, I think one thing that would be really cool is if you could collect the clams and then put those in and then they would also count in the fish area. Got another butterfly. Oh yeah, this one's just the locust right now. <laughs> I always, like, miss out on what's in there. I'm like, what? What is in there? What? This is, uh, my scorpion. I don't know what goes in here. This is my, uh, floral mantis thing. Uh, this is a centipede, a ma pill bug. Yeah. It's neat. It's, it's not that neat, but it's neat. 
But this is this is probably the neatest room to me just because there's so much movement going on. The butterfly room. I really like these ones, like the like iridescent, like super slow flappy boys. I don't know. I really like them. They're they're neat. This room also has a snail. I have a pet one in my house. Yeah, and there's a little frog in here. Like this is just a nice little room. It's chill. Good place to sit. I'm just gonna go in order of like least favorite to favorite rooms. So the next one I'm gonna show off is my art room, because this will be my second favorite. Uh, right now I have only one thing in it, so. It's literally the most boring, but it doesn't take long, so let's, let's take a look. So yeah, you can see absolutely empty, barren everything until you go right here. The one painting I have, that's it. That's everything I got. All empty. Someday I'll start to fill it up. But now let's go to a neat one. Second favorite. Let's go. So this is super sick. I don't know why. I like. I love this. This is like tree of life kind of thing, where like it branches out and you're like, oh, you know, this thing goes over to here this whole side doesn't continue in there's none of the rest of these are, are the fossils we see and then this side it's like oh it goes it goes it goes and then you get this one this is the first uh like fish to start going on land i think is what it was what it was described as so you get that and then from that point everything splits off and so everything now comes from this one it's so cool to me and so here we are, we followed the fishy boy, the first ones to split off over here are like the mammals and like the reptiles that become mammals. Uh, here we have water reptiles. Uh, over here we have air reptiles which split off after these big old boys. What was in this spot? Oh! Cool. I didn't even... Oh, there's a meteor up there? What? That's kind of sick. I didn't even know that. Okay. So, yeah. So, we got the big old boys. I'm going to split off. And then we have uh, reptiles of the air. Uh, we got a Quetzalcoatlus there. Here we have, like, the spiky and clubby and armored boys. Over here we have herbivores that kind of were like... Oh, I don't know. I don't know how to describe the Parasaurolophus and the Iguanodon. The Iguanodon is the only, like, multi-piece fossil that I have done. So that's kind of neat. Um, over here we have uh, a couple predators. Over here we have a big boy, being the T-Rex, once that's done. Over here we have raptors. Like more like smaller soon to be bird like things and this is probably the coolest thing to me so if you notice there's one thing that comes off here and one thing that comes off here also this is kind of neat just neat go kaboom it looks cool uh, but yeah so there's two things that come off here one that comes from the dinosaurs and one that comes from one of the reptiles that be that led to mammals. One of the first mammals. So if you go off in here, you have birds, or specifically, sorry, you have dinosaurs and mammals. So you have birds and mammals. The dinosaur goes up to one type of bird that you can have in this game. 
the mammals split off into all these different mammals that you can have in game as neighbors. Which is super sick. You have a deer, you have a deer. Like that's so cool to me. Oh, it's, it's so neat. And like you even got like an early, early uh, human ancestor or something on that side. Oh, I'm super excited to start filling this one in. Uh, up here, I think that's going to a bear. Is that a bear? Who's that going to? No, it goes to the rhino. So I assume we're gonna get something like a wooly, like a wooly rhino or something that's gonna go here. Um, up here we have cats, so like maybe a saber tooth cat. Over here we have an elephant, so maybe a mammoth. So like, ah, oh, I'm really excited to see what they put in there. Um, one thing that would be neat is if they had three things go in here, and then they had like frogs up there somewhere. But still, like we got koala and kangaroo. Like, ah, uh, it, it's just so cool. Dogs and bears, which are closely related. Um, they split off from the same ancestors' cats. We have uh, anteaters, which are closely related to elephants coming off. Like, it's just, it's so neat because it's, it's all accurate. This is correct information. You know, rabbits and rodents have a common ancestor. Rabbits are, no, are not rodents, but still, there's a common ancestor there that's relatively recent. Just as apparently we're closer related to rabbits and rodents than we are to things like, you know, rhinos and deer and, and dogs. It's, it's so cool. Oh, I, th I think it's so neat. Anyways, I'm going to go to now my favorite one. I think thematically and design-wise this one's my favorite. But my favorite one just because it's the most active and the most interesting to look at is where we're going next. Fish time! I love the aquarium. It has always been my favorite thing in Animal Crossing. It's one of my favorite things at any zoo if they have an aquarium. Uh, I've been to the Georgia Aquarium and I could go to that place several days in a row and still probably not see it all. Because, like, I went to the Georgia Aquarium once for one day. Uh, my sister was interning there. We were able to get in for free um it was one of her last days working there um and so child me got to go check out the georgia aquarium but we only had one day and my phone died it was so it was so bad i i took so many photos <laughs> but yeah so here's here's my aquarium it's nothing quite like that nothing nothing is cool but you know, it's a place. Hello, cat Kool-Aid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I actually, I, I will do a thing here. Just, just, I was waiting for you to show up so that I could wear this. There you go. The meatball hat. But yeah, I, I, I love this. And we got the, this little pond. We got, we got a snapping turtle in there. We got catfish. We got crayfish. Koi, a bunch of tadpoles and a frog, like, ah, neat. I don't know what's going to go in here, but judging by this picture, I assume an actual salmon. Which, my guess is that they're in cooler seasons. Um, but here we have, like, one type of salmon and a trout. Here we got, like, dace and crucian carp and a couple other, other little dudes. I have no idea what's going to go in here. Like, this is huge. My guess is, like, if they have uh, Arapaima in this. Because I think they used to. Arapaima would go in there. <laughs> I thought you'd enjoy the hat. This is my swarm of anchovies. Don't mind the fact that they. <laughs> you can see them start their animation. They all spawn in basically the anchovy T pose uh, before they start swirling around. Uh, we got that and like a horse mackerel. I assume there's going to be a lot more in this tank um, as time goes on. Um, we got this one, which has my coelacanth, orfish, and barrel eye. Barrel eyes are worth a lot of money, and I never knew that, but now that I do, 
Oh boy, do I like catching them. But the coelacanth just looks sick. I don't know if they actually, like, what species has the, like, blue, like, neon blue, like, outlining to the fins, but that's sick. The oarfish is always neat. Yeah, so this, this is the big room. Lots of neat stuff. I'm excited to make this room have more, because as it stands, I don't have a ton in it. So once I actually have it, like, with a lot of stuff, that's going to be a cool time. <laughs> the anchovy depots. See, I feel like sharks are going to go somewhere in here, though, because the other one seems to all be all freshwater. So I don't think that big tank is going to have shark. I'm feeling like Arapaima is going to be in there. I'm feeling like, I don't know, if they have like a really large catfish. Um, but then this is the other sea area. I don't know what goes in this. It's kind of empty right now. I assume something's going to be in there. But this is like the tropical fish tank. This used to, this reminds me of like the original fish tank in, in Animal Crossing. You know, like you'd have like a coelacanth that would just go back and forth here, or like a shark. Man, it's nice. But we got all the reef fish there. I think this tank, though, conceptually, is like the coolest. Because this one, you, like, you, you, there's like stairs in it, but you go to different levels. And it's, ah, it's, it's so neat. If I, if I went to an aquarium with this actual tank, I would, I would lose it. But yeah, we got a lot of my sea fish in here. Red snappers, flounders, and whatnot. Sea bass. Seahorse. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure that's that's Madagascar too. Also, it's escape the number two, Africa. We're cultured around here. Also, I like that the beta's just in here, with everyone else. Like, they're apparently like they're, they're super territorial. I'm just like, yeah, throw them in. They'll be fine. Also, this guy, this this doofy doofy baby, I love him. I, I, I think it is one of my favorite fish that I've ever caught in Animal Crossing. Just look at him; he is so dumb. Look, I haven't watched. Madagascar in a long time. And I feel like that information would come from Penguins of Madagascar, which I did watch as a child. And I did enjoy. And I've only heard bad things about it now. So I don't know if it was actually good. And I am too scared to check it out and find out if it was actually good. Or if it's just clouded by nostalgia. Okay, so this, this this is a bunch of the stuff on my island. Um, I have a campsite under construction. I have two people living on this cliff. Uh, I, they don't they don't have a way down. They have to they have to have ladders for that. Uh, and then we have one all the way up at the top. I don't know if Mo's in. Let's see, Mo Mo you in? It's funny, I put the lazy villager at the highest point on the island. Yeah, he's out. He's on a snack run. Oh! Dude, what snacks he getting? Just staring at this tree. Nope, now he's sitting. Hey, Mo. Um, he wants to eat the clouds. I'm starting to think Mo's not very smart. I'm gonna check out and see what 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 bad art we have. Cheesy dimples. Okay. Mo does look like a Sonic character. I think it's just the fact that he's so vibrant. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let's see. Let's see. I I bet. I bet there's lots of good art I can buy here. Uh, and buy buy I mean not buy because it's really expensive. Oh no, there's boobles. 
thread sensor with your ears. Just a book. I don't, I don't want just a book. It's literally just a book, dude. I don't know how to tell this one is real or fake. That's actually not terribly expensive. Alright. I assume that where they would put the fake detail would be like the head and the face, but like I don't, I don't see anything that makes it look particularly weird. I don't know, that foot down there is kind of jank. I don't know, I don't know if I can buy that one. How do you tell the... That the statues are fake. I, I feel like the paintings are easier. Hmm. I don't know how I would tell that one's fake either. And what is there gonna be like a drawing of a dick on it if it's fake? Does he even have any fakes right now? That could be the other thing. I have no idea. It's just because he's... Uh, what do we got here? I want a closer look. I feel like this one doesn't look all that shady. My guess is he doesn't have any fake art yet. What about this one? Excuse me? Let's, let's take a nice close look. I mean, this one doesn't look jank at all. Like, I, I feel like, honestly, all of these look relatively legit. Like, I don't see any, like, big, goofy signs that they're fake. So what do I buy? <laughs> what, 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 what do I get here? Do I get, do I get the boob statue that everyone goes, ha ha, there's boobies. Like, there's, I want the peen statue. Where's the peen statue at? I could get the informative rock. Was that, is that what it was? Is this just like the, the Rosetta Stone? Like, why is this here? Why do you have this? Book? Book is not art. I can buy as much book as I want. What art should I buy? Book is not art. Is book art? I buy. I got. I, there's boob. There's. There's. Haha, ha, funny man. How the hell did you get this? And. Dude. It's just a dude. This one, Like, this one is the least interesting to me. It's just a dude. Book is art. You must make it art. I will. I, fine. I will buy book. But I will also buy actual art. I'll buy book first. There, I bought book. G can I buy seven? I can buy seven books? I, 
I can drink water? I don't think he has exactly seven books. I feel like he has an infinite number of books. I can't buy a book. I have book. I have book. I have one book. That is book. Buy book until bankrupt. I have so much money in the bank. I'm not buying book until bankrupt. All right, you know what? I'm gonna leave it up to RNG. Uh, all right, Jesus, bless me on this day. I'm gonna roll a d4. Actually, you know what? Fine, I will roll. Do I have a d5? Is that a thing? Is there... Is this a d? No. Well, how many, how many, how many numbers are on this? There's a d8. I want, is, there, is there a five? There's fours. There's tens. There's twelve. You know, I, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a. Actually, I will roll a d6. I'll roll a normal die. If the normal die says a six, I will roll again. Otherwise. We go in the order, funny man, boring man, how the hell do you have this, haha ha, boobies, and then book. So if I roll a five, I will buy a book. I will stop once it lands on art. Son of a, it rolled a five. I'm not, I'm. I swear to God, if I buy like five books because of RNG, all right. Okay, this one was a four. Booby statue wins of of the art. You got your book. RNG Jesus blessed you once. I'm now buying booby statue. I don't like that sentence about boob statue. I don't like that. Oh, I'll buy it. I swear if boob statue is actually fake, I'm going to be so upset. I mean, if it, if it is fake, I don't know. Watch. What would it be like? Buy a fake boob. Buy a fake one? No, it's just spend money. Okay. I was gonna say, it's like, buy a fake sculpture, and I'd be like, so upset. I don't like that I got shady. Alright, uh, let's go to the museum with this. Oh, can I not leave? Am I trapped here for Red, let me out. I'm not allowed out. Oh, now I'm allowed out. Oh, the st- I didn't even see the stairs, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just blind. Don't mind me. Oh, wait, why did I go back? No, go back up. What are you doing? Turn around. Look, I'm just blind. Don't don't mind me. Just gonna. I I bought booby statue. That's all that I can see now. All right. This should get me close. Aha! There it is. Museum. I have a booby statue for you. I swear if booby statue's fake, I'm gonna be real sad. Wow, well, there's booby statue time. No, I don't want to take a look around. I want to give you booby statue. Oh, do I not? Oh. 
Oh, I just have the books right now. Do they mail me? They mail me the art, don't they? Uh, okay. Well, I'll find out if fake tomorrow. I swear, if it is fake, I'm gonna be so sad. Yeah, I can't donate book. He doesn't accept it. It's not art. But I'll find I'll find someone to to I'll I'll, I'll put book somewhere. We'll, we'll hop into my house and we'll, we'll put book. I'm not buying more book. I bought two. I'm not gonna sell book. I'm gonna put book. Uh, I don't have anything I can set book on. But how about how about how about this really dumb idea? Place to book. And then let's rotate book the right way. Book is keep. I have two books. I can drink water, I swear. I'm a functioning human being. I'm just gonna get the water off my glasses, cause that's that's how you drink. I don't like how funky this music is now. It almost feels like porn music. It makes me uncomfy that Isabel shows up and then I get porno music on my island. I don't like it. That's illegal. I want... Alright, I think I'm gonna catch some fish now, and then I'm going to go explore... Uh... An island. Is there a way to just go to random islands in this game? I haven't tested that. I've only gone to one island that wasn't my own, that was a person's, and that was my brother's. Fish are actually worth money. I'm cool with catching angelfish. Also, it really helps me when I'm fishing if I'm not looking at it because I always my brain sees them approaching. Goes ah, they're gonna bite. But if I can't see it. My, my ears just made Also, this is a shrine uh, to my brother. Um, he gave me these gnomes. Um, actually, he gave me them with a letter. He also gave me those flowers, but I'm gonna... He didn't give me the azalea portion, but he gave me the flowers. Let me go... Go find this letter. Here we are. <laughs> what is your request? In the meantime... A gift from the Dusk Garden. This ambassador will be enshrined with the other to bring great bounty and despair. I mean, joy upon your island. May they watch over you, always. Always watching. So yeah, here's, here's, here's where they're enshrined now. Also, it has to be there because I can't put the... I wanted to nudge it a little closer, but I can't put the trees any closer to the sea. Lose the short... Alright, these are short pants. Uh, but... If you request... The shorts are gone. Uh, 
Oh, I think there was one fish there and I scared it. I just couldn't see it. Ah. No, that's not. That might have just been ocean splash noises. Wait. Ah, yes. Ooh. Surgeon fish. Good for, good for. Sal? Oh, ah, dang it. I didn't even try to hit A. I don't know why my thumb was like, ah, hit A now. I was like, I leaned back in my seat and my brain was like, ah, I'm doing a thing. That means I must push the A button now. Ah, oh, you did me dirty, brain. Why, hello. Ah, you turd. I will say the one thing I miss about classic Animal Crossing and that I don't think is as fun in this. Uh, I mean, there's one, there's the aesthetic of the water. I miss the old water so much. The old water had so much charm. I think it could have been modernized and how it was presented, but like still look good and old. But I think the biggest one is just how the grid-based system has made the rivers look so janky compared to like the classic smooth rivery rivers but that's a very minor gripe oh you're a big fish are you a sea bass you're probably a sea bass is it a sea bass feel very rumbly like a sea bass wow it's a sea bass Pizza smells like gasoline or just the air? One of those is. Both of those are concerning. What is more concerning? Also, old tire make me sad. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Hello, coral. gonna say uh the air is a little concerning i would say if a pizza smelled like gasoline i'd be very concerned <laughs> but the air it's like uh maybe there was a car accident somewhere or something or just i don't know there's uh, someone the leaking gas but with, with a pizza that's a that is a whole other situation Also, don't mind the fact that I consistently have one fruit right now. Uh, it was not my decision. It is just my life. I accidentally ate a fruit. And, I don't know, I didn't even accidentally do it. I did it intentionally so that I could fit more good things to sell. And now I just permanently have one fruit until I either buy a toilet, which I have not found, or I chop down a whole tree or break a whole rock. But I don't want to break a whole rock. So I might just chop down a tree. Ah, oh, hello. Oh, 
you are blind. There we go. Oh, red snapper. I love red snappers because they're worth money. Like, I fish in the ocean almost entirely in this game just because the ocean is where you get the money fish. I don't know if they've balanced it better, but, like, red snappers are worth, like, 3,000 bells apiece. That's so good. And I don't got enough money yet to have the big turnip money. So, like, this is my best chance. That said, I think I'm gonna actually kind of, like, hoard some money for when turnips uh, come to being bought on Sunday. Tree. Um, what tree am I murdering? Mm -hmm. yeah. I missed. Oh. Oh, it's the shovel. The sho I didn't need a murder tree. I could have just moved a tree. Nope. I wanted to shovel you. I didn't have to murder a tree. Alright. So I'm just gonna move that one to like a slightly less dumb spot. Like right here. Now it's balanced. Now it looks nice. Look at that. Wait, is it slightly... of holes now. Now where I wanted to put that one, but... Well, actually, why don't I just do this? Huh. Okay, no, it is, it is in the same plane. It just looked slightly off to me, so my brain was like, you're crooked! Hey, yo, mama meme reaction. A yo mama meme reaction video. That is that is the content. That is the content y'all want. Hi Mo. Are you just Naruto running around the pond? You're gonna scare the fish. Let me catch it first. I want yes. Yes! It's a frog. I have a frog on the island. I should find her and give her my frog. I'm gonna find her. I'm gonna give her the frog. We're doing it. Hello, demon. What do you want? I have a demon cat. She requests something of me. Yes, demon. She's just staring at me. Do you want to? Are you going to be a butt? She'll probably be a butt. I don't know how visible she is. She's slightly visible. Eat the cat. Oh no. Her first or not. That, that is a lot of parts. Also, can I just note that she has the default bed? Like, the default version of this bed. Still. She has she did no customizations. Excuse me, Lily. How are you? She's preoccupied. What you making? She's making a terrarium. Aw, 
Honestly, I would like that recipe. That sounds nice. Alright, let, let me just learn how to terrarium real quick. Huh, okay. What, what is the terrarium like? I'm curious. Is there anything of note in it? No, oh, that looks kind of nice. And it's clumps of weeds. But I don't I don't want to use my iron nuggets on that. I want to use them to make more fishing rods as mine go away. Alright. Oh, why can't I give her the thing? Thank you. I'm wearing underwear. I want to give you... Why can't I give her a gift? I want to give her the, the frog. Do I have to do that later? Alright, I guess I have to do that later. Alright. I cannot give her gift. The gift of her kin. Not allowed. Alright. Hi, Pondfish. How are you? I missed. I think that... Yeah, that will catch. Oh. So this is what happens if I look at the fish. I always disappoint myself by accidentally reeling in early. Can you come here? hour edition how many how many of these do you think I'm gonna do I'm just gonna let him do whatever he's doing because he's he seems to be having a, a, a good old time I feel like I don't catch enough of the like upper river fish but there's also never upper river fish Like, I think when I get to, like, be able to terraform terraform, I'm mostly just going to be making up upland rivers so that I can catch upland river fish. I have room for two more things. Actually, I'm going to craft this tire into a toy. So that it is worth twice as much money when I sell it. <laughs> I've seen so many Yo Mama memes. <laughs> Yo Mama sends help? Oh. Why would I want that? Who would want that? <laughs> this is so sad. No. Get that out of here. Hmm. Look at that, that's so, that's so grody. <laughs> this is a smoggy cityscape full of garbage. What are these DIY ideas? Alright, that's enough of that. I'm gonna hop on over. Got two fish. Here we got one. 
Honestly, one of the things I think would make this game way better is if you could craft, or not craft, make pant designs. I would love to have pants. Looking for new <laughs> Pants are taking up an inventory slot. I don't like that. my pants somewhere. <laughs> Actually, I'm just gonna put them on because I'm about I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to an island. I'm gonna go to a rando island. What would Jesus, I mean, don't always do? the spiral island. I've heard about this one. It's rare. It comes with flowers that normally you'd have to buy. That's neat. Oh, well. I'm so bad at hitting rocks with shovels in this.
repair time. Is it because I watch too many Yomama videos? Alright, tiny one, you're kinda your head's in the way. I get that you're enjoying watching this now, but to like look around her constantly. Out. All right, I must free her. There you go. Be free. <coughs> Goodbye. No. That was only. I don't know how the rocks work. Do they give you like an amount of time that you're able to hit? Because I, I, I feel like it's random how much comes out. Oh. Well. Oh, the pizza. <laughs> the water does look really pretty in the evening on this trail. Pretty, yeah, I have a great purple bumper. Not sure what. I'm not sure what uh, spawns it. Like if it's a, any specific things, but I found a couple of those. I have played. Oh, there's another one. There's a lot. All right, fish. Scared away the other fish. And it was a boot. Oops. And to eat one.
This is a pretty nice island to fish on for river fish. So maybe I'll catch something new here. Because the river is the place I always fish the least. Sounds like a wonderful pizza. Right, uh, hop across. Can I hop across? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna turn this into an actual fishing rod now. to my neighbors easier said than done Oh, it just looks like a stuffed crust? Okay. My my upcoming ninja collab. How did you know? that I'm getting so far. I didn't start all the other one. Oh no. The real reason Ninja banned or decided against streaming with female streamers. He doesn't want to make out with them. What's a little smooch with the boys, you know? Yeah, like, none of the fish in the rivers are, like, valuable at all. They're like bugs. 
Like, just give me something nice. Something I don't have or something, you know? That's a can. I don't like that idea. That, that, that disturbs me greatly. Switching bodies just to be able to make out with yourself. You have a nice one then. I'm already having a bad one with all these fish that I'm getting that are of no value. And a boot. And a can. I'm gonna be wrapping the stream up soon anyways because I'm just gonna finish catching and then head out. Once I, once I sell off all of this load of fish and whatnot. You're worth much, but I like how you look. room for two more fish. Ooh, okay, angelfish is at least worth something. I guarantee that's just a black bass. see what this is. I guarantee it's worth more than a loach, so I'm just going to throw a loach in and keep that. I can't, I can, actually wait. I can swap it with the boot. I'm never going to come back to this island. This island doesn't exist. Once I leave it, it's gone. So therefore, once I leave it, the boot's gone. So I can leave the boot, and I can leave the can, and I can catch two more things. Um, right now I am on another island, and I was about to head out for the day. So I'm not going to be opening up my island at all uh, for the remainder of this one, so. Um, but uh, I do want to at some point open up my island for a stream. Like once it's presentable and whatnot. Because I'm, I'm still at the point where, like, I, I literally just got Isabel. So, like, my I feel like my island is 
is meh at this point. I mean, it's not gonna be like some paradise at any point, but like, I don't know. Once once my island's less poop, uh, I'm gonna be doing some sort of open in my island stream. All right, let's 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 go home. Take me home. I have many not worth much money fish to sell. Actually, I think I'm going to drop off a few things in storage first. Because I have... I have a couple things that I just want to store. Uh... Actually, no, I should. Oops. I should keep those kind of together. I can grab one of these and store the rest. I don't use a lot of clay. There's so many days. That's a lot of fish for that little money. That island was not 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 great. But with all that said and done, uh, I think we're just about done with today's stream. So if you enjoyed it, you know, you leave a like, subscribe to more streams coming in the future. Um, I am officially done with classes now, so I should be able to do more sooner rather than later, which will be nice. Uh, but yeah. So, thank you so much if you joined me live, or after the fact, either way is cool with me as long as you had some fun. Uh, I'm gonna head out. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do an Animal Crossing stream next, uh, or if I'm gonna do a spriting one next. I kinda wanna do a spriting one next. Um, but, uh, they're gonna start becoming more frequently gradually. Or, more frequent gradually. Uh, so, the next one's going to be coming up uh, sooner than usual. I'm not entirely sure what day I'm gonna want to start adding more streams to, but we will see. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me live. Matter of fact, uh, I'm gonna go. Ah, goodbye. I'm gonna hit the button.